Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equation, here we have the method of solving type 3. So, it will be of the form f1 of x, p is equal to f2 of y, q. That is, z does not appear. We will be having only x, y, p and q in the equation. Or we may also have x, p and q or we may also have y, p and q. But z will not appear. And it will be, we will be able to separate the variables. That is, the variables will be separable. In that case, we have to assume each of the functions to be equal to a. And then we have to find the value of p and q and then substitute in dz is equal to pdx plus q dy. And on integration, we will be obtaining the complete integral. There is no singular integral for this kind of problems. And the general integral is obtained in, by the usual method that we have seen previously. We will understand this method by solving a problem under it. Here we have problem 1. So, we observe that z is not present in this given equation. So, therefore, this is of the form f1 of x, p is equal to f2 of y, q. Since z was not present, it is of this form. Now, because it is in this form, we have to gather the terms by variable separable method. That is, we have to gather x and p to the left of the equation and y and q to the right of the equation. So, by doing so, bringing this x to the left, we will be having p minus x to be equal to, bringing this q to the right, we will be having y minus q. So, we have gathered x and p to one side of the equation and y and q to the other side of the equation. Now, we have to equate both to be equal to a constant a. So, therefore, each of this will be equal to a. So, p minus x is equal to a and y minus q is also equal to a. So, from these two, we have to obtain the values of p and q. So, the value of p will be equal to taking this x to the right, we will be having a plus x. So, therefore, the value of p is a plus x. The value of q, so taking this q to the right, we will be having q to be equal to y minus a. So, therefore, the value of q is equal to y minus a. We have obtained the value of p and the value of q. Now, we have to substitute p and q in dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. Now, at the place of p, we have to substitute a plus x. At the place of q, we have to substitute y minus a. So, we will be getting dz to be equal to p is a plus x dx plus q is y minus a dy. Now, we have to integrate on both the sides in order to obtain the complete integral. So, integrating on both the sides, integral dz will be equal to integral a plus x dx plus integral y minus a dy. Now, when we integrate z dz, we will be getting z to be equal to. Now, we can integrate this separately or we can integrate together also. It is our uh, choice. So, when I am going to integrate together now. So, a plus x the whole square divided by 2 plus the integral of y minus a is y minus a the whole square divided by 2 plus a constant of integration which I can take it as b. So, how did I get this? This is by using the formula x power n. Integral x power n dx is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Here the value of n is 1. So, this completely because a is a constant we can completely consider it as one term and we can integrate in this way. Or we can also integrate separately. So, when we do so, we will be getting ax plus x squared by 2. And here we will be getting um, y squared by 2 minus ay. And then we can uh, gather the terms and we can complete the problem also. Both the methods are acceptable. We shall solve one more problem in this video on the same topic. So, problem 2 is... So, here we have problem 2. 
which is to solve q minus p a minus uh, q minus p plus x minus y equal to zero. We observe that only x, y, p, q are present and z is not present. If z is not present, then the given equation will be of which type? It will be of the type. So in such case, uh, of the type f one x comma p is equal to f two of y comma q. So only x, p, y, and q are present in this equation. So what we have to do? We have to separate it by variables. That is, x and p has to be separated to the left, and y and q to the right of the equation. So we will retain this x and p over here to the left. So it will be x minus p as it is is equal to taking this y and q to the right. This negative y will be will become positive y, and this plus q will become minus q. So x minus p is equal to y minus q. So we have rewritten rewritten this equation by separating the variables. Now this can be equated to a general constant y. Okay. So now each of the uh, terms will be equal to y. So first x minus p is equal to y. So what do you get the value of p from this? So p will be equal to x minus y. So we have obtained the value of p as x minus a. And what about uh, this y minus q? It will be equal to y. So from this, what will be the value of q? Q will be equal to y minus y. So we have obtained the value of p as x minus y and the value of q as y minus a. Now we have to substitute these two in the equation. D z is equal to p d x plus q d y. So let us substitute p and q over here. So we get d z to be equal to the value of p is x minus a d x plus the value of q is y minus a d y. Now let us integrate on both the sides. So integral d z is z is equal to integral x minus a will be x minus a the whole square divided by two plus the integration of y minus a will be y minus a the whole square divided by two plus a constant of integration b. So therefore, this gives us the complete solution. So hope you have understood both the problems. In our next video, we will solve problem three. So kindly follow the next video lecture. Thank you.